So there's a cool hidden brush inside there, brush inside the light box, which is worth checking out. Press the comma key to go into the light box and move over to your brush settings. Go into the curves group and in there choose the curve editable brush. And we'll turn off Z add because we're not interested in sculpting. We're going to keep RGB on at 100% intensity. We'll choose a color, we'll choose the size of the brush and we we'll draw a stroke on our model. Nothing seems to happen, but the next time you click on this now, it's going to take that color information at this intensity and apply it to that. This is an editable curve, so we can move it around the model, which is pretty cool. The size of the cursor when it's uh, hovering over this, the blue is, is the area that's going to be modified by it. So if I, while I'm hovering over it, have press S and change the draw size to something small, I can modify a small area of this curve. If I make it something large, I can modify a large area of this curve. If I'm off the brush and I have a red icon, that determines the size of the brush. So the next time, if I make that larger and I click on the curve again, I'll get a larger brush. If I make it smaller and I click on it again, I'll get a smaller brush. Sometimes you get some refresh issues and you may need to navigate slightly or to rotate around your model slightly to get it to refresh. If you go up to the stroke menu, because this is a curve, we have curve modifiers here, um, which can modify this. Uh, if you turn on intensity and size, for example, the left side is the start of the curve and the right side is the end of the curve. So if we want this to start large and to taper off into a, a small ending, the next time I click on this curve, and I'll just update this for refresh, you'll see that we've updated this into both intensity and um, scale of this as it goes down towards the end. Just simply uh, alt tap anywhere on your model to drop that curve and draw another one. Click again, modify as needed if you need to, and then alt tap to finish. Um, symmetry is respected in this, so if you do draw a curve out with symmetry, double click, and this way we can get some symmetry. Alt tap to end. Hope this helps. Bye.